Have you ever wondered how to set up a professional podcasting studio at home? In the digital age, podcasting has surged in popularity, becoming a go-to medium for sharing ideas and stories. A quality home studio is key for producing top-notch content. It's not just about sounding good, but also about creating an ambience that speaks to your professionalism. Today we'll dive into the world of setting up a podcasting studio at home. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up your very own professional podcasting studio right at home. The equipment you choose plays a crucial role in the quality of your podcast. Let's take a closer look. First and foremost, a good microphone is essential. It's the primary tool for capturing your voice, so prioritize microphones with clear, crisp audio quality. Next up, headphones. You'll need a reliable pair for monitoring your audio. Look for noise-canceling headphones to help you focus on the sound you're producing. Thirdly, consider an audio interface. This device connects your microphone to your computer, converting analog signals into digital ones. It's a technical piece, but it's vital for achieving high-quality sound. Lastly, don't forget the pop filter. It may seem insignificant, but it's a lifesaver when it comes to reducing unwanted noise from plosive sounds. Those pesky P&B sounds that can cause distortion. When selecting your equipment, focus on quality and reliability. Remember, the right equipment will make a world of difference in the sound quality of your podcast. Now that you have your equipment, let's talk about soundproofing. One of the key factors to achieving a professional sound in your home studio is soundproofing. This is the process of minimizing the transmission of sound from one space to another. There are various ways to achieve this, but we'll focus on the three main methods. Foam panels, bass traps, and diffusers. Foam panels are the most common and affordable soundproofing option. They work by absorbing sound waves, reducing echoes and background noise. Bass traps, on the other hand, are designed to absorb low-frequency sound, helping to balance the sound in your room. Lastly, diffusers scatter sound waves, reducing echo and giving your podcast a more natural sound. Setting up these materials effectively involves placing them strategically around your recording space. For instance, foam panels should be placed on walls and ceilings, while bass traps are best positioned in corners. With proper soundproofing, you can significantly reduce background noise and echo, making your podcast sound much more professional. Finally, it's time to create a comfortable recording space. Comfort is key in a home studio. A cozy chair, optimal lighting, and a desk at the right height can make all the difference. Infuse the space with personal touches that inspire you, perhaps a favorite poster or a plant. This isn't just about function, but also about creating an environment that motivates you to keep creating. So don't underestimate the power of comfort. Remember, a comfortable space can greatly enhance your podcasting experience.